What are the economists saying? This balloon can't blow much bigger before it pops, can it? No, this is the, we're, we're living in a massive artificial economy. People ask me, when will the economic system collapse? Mm -hmm. My answer is 2008. <laughs> oh. Jim, it already collapsed. Yeah. This is artificial life support. We are on artificial life support. It collapsed in September 2008. This is a mirage. This is all fake. Wow. I, I believe you. They're printing trillions of dollars, trillions of Japanese yen, trillions of, of euros. It's fake. It's coming to an end. Yes. Why have we in America yes. chosen to believe a lie? They're printing money on paper. Yeah. Yes. And we've all accepted it, I guess. As long as we the public, keep the status quo going. Nobody wants to deal with reality. Nobody wants to face it. We just keep telling ourselves this somehow is going to work out. But history tells us it will not work out. Right. Well, you know, I've had about five different prophets say September, October, November, December are going to be shocking months. They said yes. they saw them on calendars, prophetic calendars yes. that God had shown them. Have you heard anything about that? I've heard, I've heard this from so many different people over the last, let's say, five, six years, mm -hmm. both prophetic and secular guest. Mm -hmm. Again, the economists, the investors, um, uh, analysts. I, I, Jim, I've interviewed people about, the Lord started uh, maybe five or six years ago taking me down the road of learning about cycles. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, and I didn't know anything about cycles, <laughs> yeah. but, you know, Solomon said there's a season for everything. That's right. There's a time and a season. The earth operates on cycles yeah. and in in the world there are cycles that have been put in motion and so i began interviewing people who had expertise in one particular area mm -hmm. whether it's finance business solar science w climate whatever mm -hmm. and they would all tell me what they knew about cycles in those areas and i would ask them do you see this cycle rolling over mm. in the near future and almost every one of them over the last five years would say Rick it appears something's going to be happening around 2015. Mm -hmm. I've heard this over and over and over. Jim we are in the war cycle right now the historical war cycle we are ripe for a war that will change the world the last war of the war cycle was World War II. And if you look at the war cycle, every time, every time the cycle comes by, the war gets bigger. More people die. Mm. The Civil War was one of those war cycles. Okay, mm. we are, the war cycle started 2014. It runs until sometime in the early 2020s. So historically, this does not, this does not mean that God could not interrupt and stop it. That would be an anomaly. Mm -hmm. But historically, it says there is a high probability that sometime between 2014 and, let's say, 2022, there will be a massive war that will go down in the history books as a game changer. Okay, another cycle is the civil unrest cycle. Mm. Mm. We're in the civil unrest cycle. Wow, big time. Now, guess what, Jim? Wow. The last time the civil unrest cycle intersected and overlapped the war cycle was 1776. Really? Yes. Think about that. It produced the, Rev the American Revolution and the French Revolution. That's the last time those two cycles overlapped. It's in play right now. Okay, we've got a solar cycle. We, the scientists are saying the sun has never been this dormant in over a hundred years. Mm. I've been interviewing NASA scientists and astronomers and uh, solar scientists, and they're, they're saying the sun is going to sleep. It's taking a nap. 
And historically, whenever the sun takes a nap, the climate plunges in temperature. Mm. Okay, we could see, and depends on which scientist you're talking to, 40 to 200 years of frigid temperatures. My I had an Australian scientist tell me that the U.S. farm belt will drop 200 miles south in the next 10 years. What? My. Yes. That's dangerous. We're looking at the food yes. supply being wiped out. Mm -hmm. Yes. We've got bird flu right now. Yes. 35 million chickens and turkeys have been killed already. Yes. Our people aren't paying any attention to this. They bird don't flu. know it, Jim, because the news media is lying. They don't lie. They don't tell them the truth. They suppress the news.